So I keep seeing videos like this and this doing the rounds on social media. And I'm hoping you already know they're fake. But just in case you didn't, I wanted to make a short video to talk about how we could use a video like this as a teachable moment in school science. So even in primary science, you could show this video to year four or year six children in electricity units uh, and ask them to use their understanding of circuits to debunk this video and they'd be able to do that. The children could play out the role of the old TV show Mythbusters uh, and pull this video apart. They could even make a video of their own to explain why it's busted. Firstly, batteries are only making contact with the cutlery at one end. There's never going to be electrical circuit being produced here. For a circuit to be formed, they would need to connect the positive end of one battery to the negative end of the other battery, and round, round, round we go. And that's not happening in these videos. And secondly, even if there was a circuit, it would not generate a magnetic field that would make the coin spin. So not all coins are magnetic, for starters. And to create a strong magnetic field, you'd really require a long, tightly wound coil of wire called a solenoid. And even that wouldn't make a coin spin like this. And then finally, let's get the trickery out of the way. Clearly, this video is reversed. The coin is spinning at the start, and then stops, and then the battery is removed, like this. And then, you reverse the film, like this. And as you can see, in the reverse film, it looks like the battery is put into place and then the coin starts spinning. Do this with the kids. Get some digital cameras or class iPads and they can film their own version of this. The hardest bit I found was actually keeping the coin spinning and not having it twang out from the, the coins and also the batteries falling off all the time. Reasonably easy for a class to test out. There are plenty of videos on social media that could be used in class that are ripe for debunking. Um, I'll make some more videos about some of these soon. It's important that children are aware that not everything they see online is true and with a little critical thinking and science knowledge they can bust those video myths. If you know of any good videos that children can use and debunk then please put them in the comments below. So I hope you found that video useful. I'll be back with some more science videos really soon. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Goodbye.